Let's go ahead and submit an assignment. It's super easy. You got this. Now your assignments might show up in your modules. That's where I have them posted for my students. We're going to be submitting this analyzing logical statements assignments so I can access it here by clicking on it. If yours don't show up there, let me go back to the home page. You can also access it over here in the to do list. So there's my analyzing logical arguments. But you can also go to the course calendar. My students love going to the course calendar because they don't miss anything that way. And we're doing the analyzing logical argument. So however you get there, you're gonna click on it. You're gonna click on that name. Your instructor is going to have chosen how you submit it. Now I chose all of the different submission types so I can show you. So if you're doing a file upload, I'm gonna click on that one first. The ones that your instructor has chosen as allowable submission types are these tabs up here on the top. I'm on file upload and let's say that I wanna, I've done all my work and I saved it as a PDF or whatever I'm supposed to save it as and I'm gonna upload my file and then choose it from my computer. I know it's not my syllabus. I'm just gonna say it's this one. And then I'm gonna click on open. And if you've got anything else, you can add another file, but you can also go ahead and add some comments. You can say, um, I had a question about, you know, whatever it might be. And then you can click submit assignment. I'm not going to, cause I wanna show you the other types. Now you might also have text entry. This one is the default. And if it is text entry, that means that you just get a regular text box and you can type your answers here. Maybe you did your work in a Word document so that you had better spell check stuff, and then you can copy and paste it in to here. A website URL is another really, really common way to submit your assignment. Say it's a Google Doc or something like that. I've got a Google Doc here, but it's super important that your instructor can see your work. So you're gonna go over here to your share settings and you're gonna change it to anyone with the link, not restricted, anyone with the link, can view and then copy that link and my link is copied i'll hit done back over here i'm going to click on that website url and then i'm going to do Control v as in victor or command v if you're on a mac so Control v as in victor and there's my website url again you've got some comments there um, we did text entry file upload media is a less common one but if your instructor did a media submission that means that they want you to do a little video or audio recording. I'm gonna click that record media. I'm gonna make sure that my webcam is showing me and that it's recording me. And then I can, if I just scroll down here, I can go ahead and click on start and then make this recording finish it and save the media. I'll just finish that there. Then I'll move this up out of the way so that I can save that media. We also have student annotation. This one's a lot like a worksheet. So I've got the worksheet here that the instructor me has submitted and I'm just gonna go through, I can click on this zoom so I can actually see what it is and I can scroll around and the easiest way to type your answers in is with the text annotation button. So I'm gonna click on that. You can choose your color. I'm gonna choose blue and then wherever I click, I'm able to type my answer. This one is an invalid argument. I can click again and put my answer here. So a really nice way to submit. Whichever submission type that you've done, it will just be one. And whatever submission type you've done, when you're all finished, you're gonna click submit assignment and you are gonna get confetti and you know that you've done an amazing job. Thanks for watching.